Welcome back to P1. Today we're going to look at the sign rule. Now again, this can be proved using trig identities and if that is something you want me to do just let me know in the comments. Otherwise I'm just going to focus on using the formulae. So just like the cosine rule, this is for non-right angle triangles. And I label the triangle in very much the same way with the capital letters for the angles and the lowercase letters for the sides and that they are opposite each other. Opposite A, C, opposite C. And the formula looks something like this. A over sine A is equal to B over sine B is equal to C over sine C. We can also have it the other way around as well with sine A over A, sine B over B, and sine C over C. And obviously if I'm trying to find a missing side, I will use this one, A over sine A, or B over sine B, C over sine C. If I'm trying to find a missing angle, I'd use this set. And just to be clear, I'd only use two of these in one go. I know I've got three equals, but you would just use, say, B and C, or A and B, or A and C. And the same for this one. So here's we've got a question, and we want to find the value of X. It is a side. My triangle has no labels, so I'm going to label it A, B, and C. And it doesn't matter which way around I do this. Okay, then I want to label my sides, so small a, small b, small c. And you can see that x is by little a. So that's what I'm going to start with, little a over sine a. And then the other one I know is b, sine b and little b. So I want b over sine b. And then I fill in everything I know. So A is X, capital A or that angle is 30 degrees, small b is 6.2 and capital B or the angle there is 42. Then it's a matter of rearranging. So I've got 6.2 over sine 42 and then that is obviously going to be multiplied by sine 30. And then my final step is to go to my calculator and put it all in. And in this case, I get 4.6 centimeters. And that does sound about right. Okay, it's this one 6.2, opposite 42. This was opposite a smaller angle, so it should be a slightly smaller size side. Okay, second example here. Again, start by labeling my triangle okay so just start by labeling the vertices and then fill in where the lowercase letters are so you can see we want to find theta that's at a so that's where I'm starting sine a over a and again in this case B is what I know so it's going to be sine B over b and notice now i have the signs on the top because i'm trying to find an angle so fill in what i know so sine theta over seven is equal to sine 54 over 12. so sine theta equals sine 54 over 12 multiplied by seven and then taking the inverse of that answer and I get 28.2 degrees. I'll give you a, just a few to try yourself, but stay tuned for after I go through the answers as I'm gonna go through another bit with the sign rule that is really important.
Okay, approaching this, let's first start by working out some angles that I know. So this one's going to be 180 minus 78, so 102, and that'll help me out straight away. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to sketch that part of the triangle, so it's D, C, and B, so B to C to D. We know this is 102, and that's X. We know this is 5, and this is 6. So we can see from here now that I can use the sign rule to solve this. So little b, little d, little c. And we want to find b, so we're looking at basically sine b over b and sine c over c. So we got sine x over 5, sine 102 over 6. Rearrange and then find the inverse of sine. And that gives me 54.6 degrees. So there's my first unknown value of x. Now to find y, I need to consider the larger triangle. So I'm considering a, b, c. So we know this is 102. We know this is our value of x, 54.6 plus 10, so 64.6. That means we can find this angle, so 13.4 degrees. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this smaller angle triangle, so A to B down to D. So A to B down to D. And we've got 13.4, 10, we've got 6, we've got Y. And what that means is we'll need this angle at D here, which we can now do as we're looking at a three angles in a triangle. So that is in here 156.6 degrees. So this is like little d and this is like little a. But I'll just jump straight into it this time. So we're looking at finding y over sine 156.6. And that is equal to 6 over the sine of 13.4. And with some rearrangement, we get 10.28 or 10.3 centimetres. Okay, part D. So, first things first, it's not very well drawn, as these two are clearly the same size, as they're five each. Um, so I do apologise. did say, though, not drawn to scale, but that is pretty bad. So 43 degrees there, which means we can also work this one out if we needed it, which is 94. So we've got lots of angles there to help us out. So I'm going to try and find a B first. So focusing on the triangle A, B, C. Now I can see that I've got X over sine 94. And that is equal to... 5 over sine 43. So a little rearrangement and we get 7.3 centimetres. Next I want to find CD, that side. Um, so angle C at this point I can do 180 minus my 94. Okay, which is 86, which is also obviously the 43 plus 43 and then that will enable me to find the missing angle at the top by a as obviously angles in a triangle add up to 180 there now we've got enough to be able to find it so i'm just looking in triangle a c d and i can see that y over sine 22 is equal to the 5 over sine 72 and that leaves me with y equals 1.97 centimeters there 
Okay, this is what I was talking about earlier. So we do have a few issues, especially with the sine rule and triangles in particular. Okay, so if we have a look at this problem, we have a triangle ABC. AB is four centimeters, AC is three centimeters. So if I think I've drawn a, a triangle, I've got AB is four centimeters, ABC is 44 degrees. And obviously I'm kind of assuming, let's draw it to here, make it look a little bit better. But I'm assuming that that is my ABC there, where AC is three centimeters. Okay, however, there is a little bit of a problem because I could draw pretty much the same triangle with this four centimeters and that and that line can come in here and this could be C there so the angle at C could be acute like in here or obtuse in this one okay I'm gonna put it on the same one here okay so we've got kind of two options for where C could go with my three centimeters because we're not given an angle at a or an angle at C we don't know which one is the correct answer now when I do this in my calculator with the cosine rule it's quite good because of the way cosine works but with the sine rule it's not obvious whether it's acute or obtuse okay so i either need to find that information out from the question or i need to find it out by the sketch or the diagram now finding the answer to this so i'm going to do this one we would have the angle at c so let's call it sine c over four is equal to sine 44 over 3. So C equals 67.9 degrees. Now that is for the acute angle which is here, 67.9 degrees. If I want the obtuse angle, I then need to look at 180 minus that 67.9. That would give me 112.1 degrees. And you can know this from using your rules like cast rule and things. You can also know this because obviously if I look at this, it's 67.9. So 180 minus that would give me this angle here. As these two are both three centimeters or it's an isosceles triangle there. So that's what the information you need to know. Often in an exam, it will tell you that the angle is obtuse or the angle is acute. And from my experience, often it's going to ask you for the obtuse angle. As the acute one, you get straight from the calculator as you normally would work it out. The obtuse one is when you have to do a little bit more to it. So the obtuse one is the one that is more likely to show up if they're going to give you this type of question.